Hello, this is Shaylin from Shaylin's Fairy Shop, and today I would like to teach you how to make a bracelet from guitar strings or strings from other instruments such as violins. To start with, you're going to need some guitar strings. Now, what I did was I stopped by a local music store and asked if they had any strings from times that they've changed uh, strings and guitars when they get used, and they had a lot. I got a whole box full of them for free, which was really awesome and very nice. You're going to start with uh, one string for making a simple bracelet. The ends of the strings tend to have these little curly cues, so you're going to need to take a pair of pliers and cut that off. Guitar strings are really stiff. You can't use them like normal wire because they really want to hold their shape. So they've got these beautiful little coils on the ends and they're on really stiff. I might think it might be a steel wire. Anyway, so once you've got the tip cut off there, you can look at the other end. This is where the string connects to the guitar. Anyway, you can choose to keep these on your strings when you make the bracelet, in which case you can get really cool looking bracelets like this one. I used multiple strings and I left these little bobbins hanging on the ends. But for a very simple bracelet, we're not going to use that. So you can go ahead and cut it off. And you can choose to keep it to, you know, use as beads later on if you'd like. Once you have your string, you're going to get started twisting it into a circle shape. So you're going to, it's going to turn into a bangle. There's not going to be a clasp on it. So go ahead and just twist it like you're going to do, like you do for making a knot on a shoelace. And then adjust it until it reaches a size that can comfortably fit over your hand. Now I have very large hands, so I have to make make a bracelet that's a lot larger than would fit most people. Uh, make it to fit your wrist, and then just take and twist the string through, creating a loop. This is very sturdy; it's not going to fall apart. Um, and I don't the guitar strings have never discolored my wrists or anything, so I believe that the wires used in them are plenty safe and possibly a little hypoallergenic. Now once you're at this point and you've got it all twisted together, you can choose to use more strings and uh, get, like here, I've got silvery strings, goldish strings, brassish strings. You can use strings of different sizes. This has a large and a small, but I'm just going to use this one right now. You're going to want to trim it. Like I said, this is hard, takes a lot of, lot of hand muscle to cut this off here. You're going to want to trim it, but have the ends stay out a little bit so that way the wrapping stays in place. <coughs> you see it's still a little pointy there. Now comes the fun part. You're going to take some wire of your choice. I use this really pliable copper wire that's uh, 24 gauge. You're going to want to get a nice long stretch of this and cut it off. Now you're going to take your in, in progress bracelet and right in the middle there where you've got the wrapping with the little pointy ends, you're going to put the colored, colored wire right there in the middle and wrap it like this in little loops around. Now you can just take this and keep wrapping until you've covered the edges here and here. In which case, you will get something that looks like looks like this, a nice simple bracelet. However, I'm going to try putting some beads on today. So what the beads that I am using are two, two miniature freshwater pearls and a glass Sforsky pearl. I'm using my little teacup. Anyway, so once I've got about two wraps on, what I'm going to do is take one of the small pearls, slide it onto the wire, slide it down. Now I'm going to keep wrapping in the direction that I was going, and I'm going to try and make sure that that little pearl stays right where it was and I don't want it I don't want it to come on the inside of the bangle bracelet basically. So go ahead and wrap it once more. But this time instead of wrapping under and through, you're going to take it around the outside of the pearl. 
So now you're giving it a little, I don't know, a little frame of colored wire. You can make this however big or little you want. You don't even have to put it there, but I like doing three rounds. So that was two and three. And then continue wrapping. When I use this much wire, when I wrap around the edges and that, I probably use about two feet of wire. Now I'm just going to wrap this all the way out to the edge so that way it completely covers the little sharp pointing part because you do not want that poking your wrist. So just keep wrapping. Continue on past the little pointy part. Make sure that all your little loops are nice and tight together. If you need to, you can grab your, get your fingers and just kind of push it into place. Now I'm going to turn it the other direction and I'm going to get started on the big center pearl. So I'm going to give it another loop here. Then I'm going to take my big Sforsky glass pearl. I'm going to slide it on. Bring it here. Now the bead just doesn't want to stay put. This is especially big with uh, an especially big problem with larger beads. You're going to have to kind of force the bead up the wire a bit, fold it over, and just kind of try and get it to stay put, stay on the outside of the bangle. It does take a bit of work to be able to get that. Then you're going to wrap the little frame around the bead and give it two loops around, so that was one and that's two and I'm going to put my other little bead on slide it on continue wrapping and three loops around the bead to make a frame Bring it around, loop it more, continue all the way to the end. Now I'm running out of wire here and my little pointy part's not going to get covered. So I'm going to backtrack a bit. By this point, there's been enough wrapping that if I cut this, it's not going to fly apart. So there's plenty of tension there to keep it in place. So I'm just going to cut off that little bit there, if it'll come. Like I said, guitar string is very hard to cut. Wow, I haven't had that much difficulty with it in a very long time. Anyway, continue on. Cover the little pointy ends. Make sure all your loops are nice and tight together. And now, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers, pull it nice and tight, cut it. And you want to cut it so that the end of your colored wire is on the outside of the bangle. Then take your pliers and push that down into the wrapping of the guitar string. Do the same on the other end push it down and you have got a beautiful guitar string bracelet or it might be violin string I'm not sure the guy at the music store said he had some of both he even had some cello string and ukulele string which was kind of fun anyway you can then experiment with all sorts of different bracelets you can use all sorts of different wire you can put different beads on leave the bobbins on you can do um, where you don't cut the ends together, you have one end on one side and one end on the other side. You can do things, and I might make a video sometime to show you how to do a three loopy thing like this where it doesn't even get twisted. You can use those two, those, um, yeah, two hole beads and make something that looks like this. Using the same wrapping technique, you can make rings which again, I might make a video for, <laughs> or earrings, which really fun, really cute. Anyway, I made a bunch of these. I actually sell them online at uh, shaylensfairyshop.artfire.com. 
and if you use this tutorial to make some of your own guitar string bracelets, I'd love it if you could share pictures. I love it when I know that people are using the tutorials that I make. So go ahead and leave a comment on YouTube or my blog, or you can email me at shaylinsferryshop at gmail.com. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.